Hi friends, so I finally managed to uh, get this uh, new system of mine up and running. Uh, this is a, a completely modular kind of system. It is uh, built out of uh, uh, pine wood uh, slats that have been treated for external weather elements. So there's something called a PU weather coat, which is external grade. So that takes care of the wood from outside. And uh, the entire system, the grow bed is lined with a pond liner. 50% of this are filled with uh, gravel and then the remaining 50% is with uh, leka. The system is uh, around 250 liters in volume or uh, once the grow media is in, uh, I think it will take only one third the water volume. So around 75 to 80 liters of water is what it will carry. So the sump tank is a 300 liter uh, tank and I've cut off the tops uh, so that I have access to the fish and uh, there's a motor there that's a submersible motor that's a 900 liter per hour at uh, one 1.6 meters height head so that should do the job so this system so for this system I'm going to be actually uh, you know uh, documenting the entire uh, cycling process and to see how I actually bring up the uh, nitrogen and the ammonia levels. So I've just activated the uh, system. I've uh, started uh, filling the sump tank with the water from the corporation. And this system I'm going to be uh, cycling with fish. So today I'm going to have this uh, water just uh, flow through the system. And tomorrow I'll probably be, uh, you know, adding the uh, at least around five or six fish. And next week we'll do another water test and see how the system works. And I'll show you how the progress happens. So for my water testing, I'm using this uh, freshwater API kit. Uh, this is a master testing kit which allows me to test ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, uh, you know, pH, low and high range. So I just did the water test. So let's see the results. That is for pH and if you look at it, the pH is way above 7.6. I think I'll do another test in the pH high range. And of course the ammonia, let's see what's uh, with ammonia. Zero. Absolutely zero. That's because there's nothing producing ammonia right now. So once I add the fish in tomorrow and uh, you know start feeding them, there's going to be some amount of uh, ammonia generation that's going to happen. So I'll just do a high range pH test now. That's the pH reading and pH is way above 8.8 .8. so this is the ph that is uh, you know that's coming from the corporation water so what i do is i just leave the system running for a few days and add in a few fish and then slowly it kind of naturally comes down thanks for watching guys i'll keep you guys posted on how the system works uh, this system is going to be i'm going to be documenting the system on a step-by-step -step process on how the nitrates are getting developed and how long it takes for a system of this size to get set uh, well so if you guys have any comments or suggestions just pop them below and i'll get back to you thanks for watching guys have a nice day